Welcome back to Fit for Life. Thanks for joining us today. Um, I want you all to know a secret. And that secret is there is life after retirement. Life isn't over. Once you retire, it just opens you up to a whole bunch of possibilities. Well, first of all, you want to stay strong by doing exercises, of course. But why do you need to stay strong so you can stay independent as long as possible, not have to depend on people to do things for you? Sometimes we can't help it. Things happen. And we have to be able to accept it uh, gracefully, but we don't want to have to do it right away. And we want to uh, just stay as healthy as we can for as long as we can. Um, so you can travel, so you can pick up your grandchildren, Maybe you want to do volunteer work. How about hobbies that you haven't tried because you were working all the time? Uh, now's the time to do it. Learn a language. Take a class. Take a course. Um, join a book club. I did that recently, and I love it. Find something new. And, and remember that exercise burns calories, and that's good. We don't want to be sitting all the time. It is so bad for both our brain and our body. So uh, I hope I've got you all steamed up here so we can start doing some exercises. I think of the six basic fitness components, I think strength is the most important, don't you? So that, again, we can do things physically for ourselves, And the mind and the body are connected. So it's, it's good for the mind to stay strong and be confident, um, not get lost in depression. I know sometimes there are things to be depressed about, but there's also a lot to be thankful for. Okay, and now we're going to do our morning walk up. Here we go. Stand up. Great. I'm going to move the chair back just a tiny bit. Oh, me. Yeah, there it goes. Morning warm up. What do we do? We're going to start by running in place. Do you think you can do that? I know you can do that. So let's start nice and easy, though. We're not going to be running like this. You know, we just. But the feet are going to come up one at a time, back and forth. Get that heart rate up a little bit. For those that cannot do something like this, just march in place. It's a great exercise, especially when you're moving your arms too. So we're going to run in place. Let's try it for a minute. I'm going to count to myself. Um, I hope I count the seconds the way they should be counted. We'll do the best we can. So let's just get ready. Nice. Start moving slowly. And here we go, just for a minute. I'm counting to myself. How are you feeling? Gets that heart rate up a little bit. 20 seconds. Thirty seconds. We're halfway there. Isn't that great? I'd like you to practice this on your own. Try it. Try for two minutes. Get out and walk. The weather's getting a little bit better. Forty-five. Slow down a little if you want. And that's approximately a minute. So again, that just warms up the body. Get, again, gets that blood circulating up to your brain. I'm just going to march in place and march back over here. Just keep marching, marching, marching. Good. Great. So we're warming up for our strength training. You're going to bring those arms right up. Now bend those knees and bring the arms back. I like this one. This is two. And three. Bend those knees if you can. Well, just say you couldn't. You can still do your arms. It's wonderful, just like this. It's a good exercise. Great. So bend the knees, straighten. Bend the knees, straighten. This time bring those arms up alone. Bend the knees and bring the others back. So arms are up, arms are back. Good. It's easy to do, technically. It's great for all of the, the torso, for your body. Good. All right, let's do one more. Up and down. Now, I think you all know how to do lunges. Feet apart. Now, if you need to hold on, just get behind your chair and do it. And if you feel like you might take a fall or you lose your balance, you can hold right on to the back of the chair. I like to do this, like that, to give my knees a little more room. This is easy stuff, isn't it? It's wonderful. 
Nice little warm up. Arms over here, arms over there. Gives it a little style. Back and forth. Great, you're doing a good job. So let's do this for at least a minute. Good, back and forth. But you want to warm up before you do strength training. And then you can stretch afterwards, after the strength training. You don't start stretching with cold muscles. You want to warm up a little bit first. All right, let's come back, hold on to the chair if you need to. Just kick those legs out a little bit. Bring your knees up, good. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, let's go back to the lunge. All right, and here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna reach across and across, good. This one should feel pretty good too. Now again, if you need to hold on, just do some with this arm and then do the other arm. You can still hold on, right? So it's up, up to the other side, reach. Good. Now just bring the arm down a little bit and reach right across and right across. And I know you can feel the stretch in there. And if you're sitting a lot, you're not getting any stretching done, that's for sure. So you want to stretch out those muscles that are all kind of crunched together, right? So reaching and reaching and reaching. Good. All right. Now, a little bit for the quadriceps here. It's a very easy exercise. Is it the best exercise to do for your quadriceps to make them strong? No. But it's a little bit of an exercise. So let's just bend those knees, good. Try to do it without holding on. Uh, for those that don't have to worry about that, it's, it's really quite easy. Good, yeah, and while you're doing this, why don't we just bring the arms up here a little bit? Good. We're still warming up. Um, pay attention to how your knees feel. You'll know it if it bothers your knees, in which case you could do just a little bit. Or just kick out while we're doing this. That's a good warm-up too. Just throw that into the routine. Be creative. Good. So one more time, we're just going to bend those knees. Good. Palms up. Just stay here now and just bring the arms back. This is really good for balance. All right, good. Now, one hand right down here. Just cross over, touch the shoulder. Let's do the other side. Nice little twist in there, over and over and over again, over again. Oh, great. Again, burning calories, which is always nice. Now just let the arms kind of flip over your touching in front and the back. Touching, waking up those kidneys in the back, waking up your internal organs. If you just got up a little while ago, this is a great little stretch. So we can get back to our chairs now. And what we're going to do is our strength training. We're using weights today. Now we do this one other time weekly and we use bands, but today we're doing weights, free weights. They call free weights. All right, elbows in. Let's put the weights down just for a minute. Grab some water. I don't know about you, but I'm thirsty. That's what I need. It will perk you up a little bit too. It tastes so good. And the, with the warmer weather coming, uh, make sure you always have water with you, just in case. All right, let's hold on to those weights. Good. Now bring the arms down a little bit. Now your arms are touching your body. They're not out here. Right in, good, all right. Now, if I said do a bicep curl, what would you do? So you know now, we're just gonna lift those weights right up, good. So it's up quickly, fairly quickly, and then slowly down. And you know that now, too, if you're watching regularly. All the way up, slowly down, good. And four. And down. Now let's try something else. Hold on to your weights. You can rest your arms right here and then 
slide forward. So we're going to do basically the same thing, just a little variation. Arms down, all the way down. I'm going to come forward a little bit more because the arms might be in the way here. So all the way up. And still four seconds. It's just a longer ride, isn't it? A longer excursion. Breathing out. And slowly down. You're tightening your abdomen without even knowing it. Try it again. All the way up. So this is for what? The biceps. In the front of the upper arm. Good. Try it again. Let's say this is five, even if it isn't. All the way up and slowly down. Good. Doing a good job. Let's say seven. Up, but four seconds down. Good. And then all the way up again. Great. And down. And just rest your weights right in your lap here. Good. Just lift your shoulders up and down a little bit. One shoulder forward and then the other one. And just alternate. It's just a nice little stretch. For the back, your shoulder. Good. The upper arm a little bit. I felt a, I'm feeling a little snapping. I'm hearing a little snapping. So maybe I'm getting a really good stretch, right? Okay, that's the bicep curl. Normally you would do two sets. You'd have a rest in between, maybe a couple of minutes, and do another set of eight or 10 or 12, whatever you can do. Wonderful. So what about your triceps now? Triceps. OK, let's see. What do we do for the triceps today? Let's bring these weights down. Just let the arm come straight. Let me be even. OK. Arm straight down. I like to put one foot in front. Now you can come forward slightly, but make sure you don't round over. Keep the back straight and come forward. Now you have more room. I have, I'm kind of close here, but let's bring up to the back and slowly down. I know you're going to feel this one. Breathe out. And one, two, three, and four. Try it again. And slowly down. Great. Try it again. slowly down. Now let's, normally we would do eight, but I want to do it a different way for the tricep strengthener. Bring your arms up and just go back and very gently come back up. Your feet are flat. Watch your posture. Pull those shoulders down. Breathe out and slowly back up. Good. Again and slowly. Yes. And back. Slowly back up. Is five coming up or six? Mm. Back. Good. Again. And after this one, we'll do just one more. Good. Breathing out as we, and just going pretty quickly, and slowly back up. And just bring those arms down. Wonderful. I'm just going to put my weights right here in my lap. You might have a table or some place where you can place them when you're just relaxing. So we did biceps. We just did triceps. Let's do something um, for the upper back as well as your arms, of course. Um, holding on, just rest for a minute. Can you put your elbows on the arms of the chair? Uh, if you have a chair with arms, that will be easy. I think it's it helps us with some of the exercises that we do. So. Uh, let's do something again. Upper back, shoulders, arms. Breathing out. And slowly back. These are called flies. Yes, breathing out. So this is upper body work we're doing right now. And slowly back. And breathing out again. And slowly back. Four coming up. Out. And slowly back. I know you can feel that. Breathing out. But it's making you stronger. Giving you some definition to those, those muscles. Toning them. Making you strong to, to be more independent. That's what we all want. To take care of ourselves for as long as possible. Maybe forever. 
and slowly back and you do one more let's go out good and back great let's just rest those weights now relax for a minute now i'm gonna let you slouch just for a minute maybe just a second though let's come back up you don't have to exaggerate it all the time but every now and then if you can remind yourself do it anyway just pull the shoulders down and the chin in see how long you can stay there comfortably and then just relax into it and then maybe your body will remember to do it the more we do it the more the mind remembers hopefully all right what about your hands are your hands as strong as they used to be um mine are getting stronger they are stronger than when i started doing this but um it takes a while but you want to keep those hands strong you need your hands for everything right cooking dressing lifting driving everything so let's do this we're going to take the weights forearms right down on your thighs your quadriceps uh, don't let the weights do this you don't want this you want hand and arm on the same level all right the hand extends beyond the knee just a little bit we're going to do little baby curls just curl the hand not the arm just the hands and two if you want to do it out here you can and three but your arms need to be into your body and five and six i'm going to go back and seven and eight wonderful all right let's take just a minute to rest relax recoup side to side relax pull that chin in let's sit up straight oh yeah that feels good okay now over i find it difficult to do it this way if you can let's come back put your forearms on the arms of the chair your hands again extend beyond the end of the arm and a little backward curl or a reverse curl too these aren't too bad but you can feel them and you can feel it working making you stronger or you want to be able to lift those grandbabies right mm. nothing better and six and seven and eight let's do ten nine and ten uh, let's take a little rest you can do this or this or put them down on a table grab some water grab my water again very important for so many things especially um dissolving all these prescription drugs we take in the morning Not everyone takes a lot, that's true. Hopefully less and less as time goes by and we take care of our health and eat right. All right, now for the last, for the upper body, let's do a paddle wheel, holding it one weight above the other, they're not resting. And just do one and two. Can you feel that? You're tightening the abdomen. You can feel it, upper back, arms, mid-back. I can feel it. Your neck, especially. Mm. We're going to have to do some neck stretches, I think, after this. All right, rest them down just for just for a minute or so. Good. You're doing a good job. I know you are. All right, we're going to lift the weights and go backwards. One, two... And three, I can feel myself getting stronger. And four, and five, and six. Muscle burns fat, more than fat. Keep that in mind. And muscle weighs more than fat. So keep that in mind also. Okay. So let's put these weights down. So now we're going to work on the lower body, but we're not going to be using any kind of weights or equipment. So you probably will remember some of these. To strengthen the lower body, just straight out with the leg. Let's, um, let's pull that toe back a little bit. 
and one. So we're strengthening the quadriceps just by doing this simple exercise. If you want, you can put a weight on top as long as your skin is intact. You don't have any black and blues or sore muscles. Try the other side. So we'll flex the foot back. Try to do at least 10 or 12, maybe, maybe more, maybe, maybe 20. You can feel that. So we're strengthening here. Strengthening those quads we need for falls prevention too, right? These muscles have to be small to lift that foot up enough when you take a step rather than stubbing our toes. And I know you all know what I'm talking about. Again, to strengthen the quadriceps, we're going to lift up one and two. Now, if you do these on your own, you can stay up here longer. Keep that in mind. Maybe, maybe 20, 30 seconds for each side then you don't need to do as many reps, many repetitions, but it's just kind of a simple exercise that does a lot for us. Up, good. All right, and up. So I'm hoping you're remembering some of these things we do. Yes, we do repeat them. If we uh, used a different exercise or had to use a, a different exercise for everything all the time, it would be uh, very difficult to do that. And if something works, why not do it again? Right? Good. Lifting is easy. Okay. Just relax. Just put your feet down. Just flop the feet around a, lot, a little bit just to loosen up those ankles. And Okay. Um, I did mention that we had to do a few neck stretches. Let's do those first before we stand up. Okay. So this is really not difficult. You're just going to drop your chin right down and relax. Let the head just come forward. If it rounds the back, don't worry about it. But you know, just try to relax fairly, fairly straight and just let that head drop right down. You can hold that down there for a while. Just do your natural breathing. And let's bring the head back up just a little bit. Don't try to bring that head as far back as you possibly can. Not a good idea. Okay, good. So we're just looking up at the ceiling here. Looking straight. There you go. Dropping down. You can hold all of these longer if you want, especially if it feels good. We'll bring the head back up. And you're going to do a little bit of a turn. How does that feel? And then to the other side. Good. Very simple, simple movements, good. And then we'll bring the head back. Let's do an eardrop. Don't force it. Just let it come down on its, on its own here. Good. And then to the other side. I feel a stretch right here. I hope you do. Good, and then we'll just sit up, slide forward. We're going to do the sit-stand, aren't we? Up. Good. Okay. Let's get, let's get to the back of the chair, your chair. I will turn my chair. Good. So we've been doing a lot for the quadriceps today, but what about the hamstrings? Let's see what we can do for the hamstrings to strengthen those a little bit too. You're going to lift one leg up. You can flex that foot if you want and just bounce it. One and two and three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight to ten if you want to. This time, I'm going to make it a little more difficult. Okay. Leg back again. Just touch, just touch your toe and lift it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, nice and tall, seven, eight, nine, Ten. If you can do ten, that's great. You've got two legs. We have to do both sides. Oh, we just relax those knees a little bit. All right. Just touch to the back, but this time, first time, pick it up and bounce it. One and two. Flex your foot a little bit. And four and five, six, seven. Pull that chin in. Nine, ten. Okay. Okay. We're just gonna relax. Bend the knees a little bit, nice and tall. All right, and we're going to do it one more time, but a little bit differently. So you're just going to put your toe down like you did and then touch it. One, up and down, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. How do you feel? All right. Uh, just a little bit for the feet. We'll do it quickly up and down. Lift those heels up. Two and three and four. Good. And five and six, seven and eight. We'll do ten and nine. But then we need to stretch that calf muscle out, don't we? So let's let's just do this. Oh, can you feel it? You can feel the stretch back there. Can you let go and balance here? I bet you can, most of you at least, right? Good. All right, wonderful. Good. We'll come back up again, and now we're going to flatten that back out by walking back. You know I do this all the time, but I think it's a good one. Flatten the back right out. Hold it as long as you can. Keep your head up. You can bend those knees a little if you want. Good. And then we're going to come back up. One foot forward, same arm. Push those hips forward as we go back. Just a little bit. The other arm lifting. Up, up, up. Hips forward. And back. Oh, you're doing great. All right, let's sit down and relax. I think we just have at least a minute left. No, we don't even have a minute. It's over. Oh, now what do I do? I'm sure you're going to cut that out, right? Well, now I have to. <laughs> Sorry. It did say zero when I said it. That's fine. Yeah, you could have just sat down and I ended it. Do you want me to do something again? Would, would that be good for you? Yes, yeah, so now I'll, yeah. just say, oh, look at the time. Oh. Go, we're going to have a seat. Okay. And then wrap it up. Oh, well, okay. I can wrap it up. Okay. Uh, hmm. All right. Go ahead. I forget. My brain just went. That's I'm okay. Sorry. So sorry. just say, um, oh, wow, look at the time. Let's take a seat. Okay. Yes. And let me say goodbye for the day. Okay. okay. You tell me when. Five, four, three. Oh, look at the time. Oh my gosh. We have to end, don't we? Thanks for joining me today. And I hope to see you the next time. Just tune in, um, get healthy, get strong, um, and just have a better day. So again, bye for now.